Hey everyone, this is Senior Stationery again, and today's review is gonna be on the Mono Plastic Eraser from Japanese brand Tombow. This was a present from a good friend of mine. As you can see, I've already given a little bit of use to try it. This little eraser, I believe, is made in several sizes. Uh, it's a very popular eraser in Japan. As you can see, this is a Japanese model, has Japanese writing. It says made in Japan. Um, has a cardboard uh, sleeve as well as this plastic wrapping from when it was new which you can leave it on because it has a it had a strip to cut it out and have this area free but still protecting the rest of the body so that's a very well thought uh, design as you can see also it has a little uh, cut here on the corners so the sleeve uh, lasts longer so that's a very well thought idea looks kind of odd but if you think about it, it's a very well thought idea um, based on uh, on how the usually the cardboard sleeves uh, wear out pretty, pretty fast. So let's give it a look at this interesting uh, Japanese import. Thank you, Mr. Legoman. I've already prepared a sheet of paper with several pencil grades to give it a look. I have a Palomino Blackwing. I have a Tombow. 8902B which is pretty much from the same brand so let's see if the eraser erases well its own pencils I have a Dixon Ticonderoga Black HB I have the big uh, HB regular pencil you know the one that is woodless and a dark a very dark one if I were Castell 9007B so let's give it a look how well does this uh, uh, eraser erases let's see first uh, Palomino Blackwing let's take a look as you can see the eraser is pretty much clean no need for rubbing so let's take a look okay well the Palomino Blackwing was fairly raised just some minor ghosting as you can see some very minor but again the Palomino is a fairly dark uh, lead pencil so uh, this is pretty good considering it's a fairly dark pencil so now let's take a look to the 2B from the same brand the Tombow let's see well looks like it erased pretty much the same even, even a bit better than the Palomino I don't know if you can notice the, I feel there's more ghosting on the Palomino than the Tombow now let's take a look on the Dixon, which is a fairly popular pencil. The good thing about this eraser is that it just leaves a few strands, so it's not very dirty. That's a good quality on this tumble. Well, it erased pretty well. Fully clean. You just see the marks from the pressing of the lead, but the paper is pretty much clean so on HB works pretty good let's take a look on Bix HB mm. well the big was a little bit harder again just a few minor if at all any ghosting Pretty much it's just a uh, hard pressing as uh, some big pencils you have to press harder for the lead. Now let's take a look on this really dark 7B from Faber Castell. Let's see how well does this Japanese eraser do. This is the Faber Castell. I like to have this pencil as it's one of the hardest to erase and not many erasers do this feat that well. Usually just the very premium quality ones are the ones as you can see. Just a few a couple of large strands. So it's very clean. Very dust free. Okay. Well, that's a great feed. Take a look at that. It's basically non existent. And this is a very dark shade. One of the darkest from Faber Castell, which is a very quality German pencil maker. So yes this eraser is a well recommended one uh, it's basically usually available on import uh, stationary sellers um, at least here in Mexico it's not available 
uh, a good friend of mine sent me a, sent me a copy uh, which I thank him a lot for that uh, this is pretty much a very premium eraser I could even tell or say that it's pretty much premium or maybe even more than the Pentel which is a very popular one the high polymer I've noticed uh, previously that uh, when using the high polymer it does not erase two dark pencils but this one was really like uh, worked like a champ with the Faber Castell so yes this pencil will be really great both for regular writing with an HB for school or taking regular notes or for arts uh, using uh, very dark graphite pencils so yes this is a really great eraser a great Japanese import fully made in Japan if you come across one of these or are available to buy one well you should give it a try it's a really nice nice uh, eraser it even has it still its classical shape and design of the sleeve which is a blue white and black it actually uh, recently there was an anniversary version as uh, this eraser was uh, on its uh, birthday a few years ago I believe or two or three years ago something like that so yes this is a really great Japanese quality eraser uh, I do recommend it I could even say or recommend it as much as my two personal favorites which is the the Edding R20 plastic eraser or the Faber Castell dust free erasers which for me are the most premium and best uh, erasers which can erase from a regular HB all the way to a very dark 8 or 9B and I, I, could, I could say that this one is pretty much on that same level so yes I will recommend it greatly I hope you like this review and this comparison and um, please feel free to leave more comments and stay tuned for more great stationary reviews which I will be posting uh, pretty much soon thank you for watching bye bye